This episode brought to you by these awesome patrons and members. The Apple III does not get enough love. I aim to change that. Warm up the CRT, it's time for another episode. Do you have an Apple III? And have you been searching for a Microsoft Soft Card 3 for ages and not finding one? Or even worse, finding one on one of those auction sites on sale for an exorbitant amount of money? Well, search no further, because my Soft Card 3 reproduction is now on sale. Let's check it out. The Soft Card 3 reproduction by Joe's Computer Museum is a nearly exact one-to-one -one recreation of the original card by Microsoft. This new version uses HCT logic wherever possible to reduce heat and power usage. It comes with a ROM adapter and a pre-programmed modern ROM chip. This was done as the original 256-byte ROM chips are no longer made and new old stock costs more. However, it supports all of the original chips and even the original ROM. The Soft Card 3 is available fully assembled, as a build-it-yourself kit for the tinkerers, and for the truly adventurous as a bare PCB. Each card is lovingly hand-assembled right here on my bench in Ohio just for you. But enough jabbering on. Let's take a closer look. So here is a MySoft card. Now you're probably wondering to yourself, self, why did Joe go to all the all the detail and process and effort and all of that to make one of these silly things? To reverse engineer this original card and make a new one. And well, the main reason is these things are expensive and they're hard to find, and people are wanting to do stuff with their Apple III's, but because the Apple III was such a rare computer relative to a lot of other 8-bits of the time, they're just not found in the wild that much, which means even fewer uh, expansion cards exist for the Apple III. So if you want, really want to get into an Apple III and play with it, you re your only option really is emulation, because it's so hard to find an actual Apple III. Well... If you have an Apple III and you want one of these things to do something, wouldn't it be helpful if these things existed? Um, so I decided to go ahead and just like uh, put my nose to the grindstone, so to speak, and reverse engineer, and by reverse engineer I mean copy the original board here um, so that uh, people could have a new version of this board. Um, as you can see here, uh, it's pretty much a one-to-one -one replication of the original board. Um, flip it over here and... and uh, I did the absolute best I could to uh, copy all the traces exactly. There are a couple tiny little changes, um, but nothing electrically different. It, it is electrically identical to the original board. Um, even so far as that the uh, the first test article that I uh, that I uh, put together, um, I used all of the original chips in the test article, and it just worked. The original ROM, the original CPU, all of the chips in that worked perfectly fine. So, uh, yeah, it's it's just, I don't know, it's just the coolest thing ever, I think. See, the Apple III just doesn't get enough love. There are tons and tons of different cards out there available for the Apple II and the Apple IIgs and the Apple IIc and all that, and there's just not enough for the Apple III to allow those out there who have their Apple III's to really enjoy the computers without going out and spending exorbitant amounts of money on things that are really hard to find, and I'm wanting to change that. So that is why we have this card. Now, enough me just talking about that. Uh, let's go ahead and actually demonstrate uh, the card in my Apple III over here, booting up to Apple III CPM. We'll start with the process of installing the card, putting the computer back together, and booting it up to a disk to show you, hey, yeah, this card actually does work. All right, we're going to go ahead and install this for you on camera live. So first things first, we need to get inside the machine, get the monitor out of the way here. Now, if you're familiar with the Apple III, you know you already know this, but if you're not familiar with the Apple III, uh, this uh, is held down, the lid is held down by a couple screws on the front corners here, little captive uh, uh, slotted screws. Um, for movie magic reasons, I have already released those screws. So we will go ahead and take the lid off. And now we install the card. Now the card itself has to go into slots one or two. Um, I believe it's simply designed to work that way for whatever reason. Uh, when this slots in, there is a, a notch right here, and I'll get a little a little uh, video there showing you that, but there's a little notch here that the edge of the card has to slot into to hold the card in place. The Apple III was designed to be a little bit more refined than the Apple II, 
Some people might think the Apple III is a smoking pile of garbage, but I love my Apple III, so we're going to show it some love. Now, the one thing you also notice is that my version of the soft card does not have the little brackety bracket that slots in the back slot here. And that's just for ease of manufacturing. Trying to come up with a process to uh, make those brackets, get those brackets attached there would make the project way more expensive. And to be honest, it does need the bracket to function. We, you know, those of you familiar with the Apple II, you know that our Apple II cards just kind of flop in the wind there and they work just fine. So I'm not worried about it. So we're going to go ahead and get this slotted into that slot. It's in our socket right there, all good to go. Put the machine back together. Normally at this point, you would be flipping the computer over to get those little screws put back together. But we will go ahead and do this. Put the monitor back on top. Um, sure, now we need to turn the monitor on. I've got my CPM disc for Apple III. This is kind of the type of thing. You'll need a CPM disc for the Apple III um, in order to use that card, obviously, because it's a soft card. It's designed to use CPM. Put it in the thing. Flip the lid, turn it on, and see what happens. There we go. Apple Soft Card 3 CPM. And if I do a DIR, I get a directory. Let's do a stat. Oops, my T key isn't working. Stat. It'll give me statistics about the, the machine. A, it's read-write capable and it has 31K of space. Look at that. It is working perfectly. Now I hear you barking, big dog. You're over there yip-yapping saying, hey, Joe, where do I get one of these cards? I need one of these cards. I'll tell you where you get it. You go over to my website, jcm-1.com, link in the description down there. Scroll down to the Apple III section, click on that, and you will find my cards for sale ready for you. Now, I did a small run of about 20 cards, so not a lot of them out there, but if it becomes popular, I can run a new run of these cards at any time. So if you go over to my website and you see they're not there, hit the contact page and say, Joe, I want a card. And uh, that will help me know what that uh, popularity of that card is going to be and whether I need to do a new run. I want to give a big thank you and shout out to Petr Puskaric, who loaned me his original Microsoft Soft Card 3 for reverse engineering purposes. He gave me permission to completely strip the card, scan both sides, and put his card back together just so that I could make these cards available for you guys. If he hadn't allowed me to do that, I wouldn't have been able to do this at all. So again, huge thanks to him. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Remember to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on my latest adventures. If you want to support the museum, you can become a patron over on Patreon, or go over to jcm-1.com and pick up one of these cards. Links in the description. Well, that's all for today's episode. While you're here, check out some of my other videos, and remember, 8 bits are all you need. Before I go, I just wanted to note, in case anybody out there thinks that uh, I'm not really dedicated to the Apple III, all I have to do is give you one little hint. Yeah, I have plans. Keep your eyes peeled, folks.